Hello and welcome to the adventures of Robert Wedderburn. Today we're going to be having a look at a species of animal that's similar to you and to me, the Chakma baboon. Baboons belong to the order of primates and there are five species of baboon in the world. Baboon's geographical range covers Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. Of the five species of baboons, four are savanna species and one, the Hamadryas baboon, lives in the cliffs of the hillsides along the coast of the Red Sea. The Chukma baboon is a common resident in southern Africa and is well adapted to the hot summer months as well as being able to survive the cold winters of many parts of southern Africa. Like all old world primates, Chukma baboons don't have prehensile tails. These large non-hominoid primates are skillful foragers and are well adapted at picking up heavy rocks in search of anything tasty that they might find underneath. Chakma baboons are incredibly opportunistic omnivores and their diet comprises largely of fruits, grasses, seeds, flowers, insects, arachnids and worms. Chakma baboons are also known to occasionally eat meat from animals such as antelopes and small mammals and in the Kalahari they've been known to forage for the Kalahari desert truffle. Chakma baboons live in troops which are composed of multiple males and females and their offspring. They have a fascinating social structure and are able to communicate with each other by means of facial expressions, body gestures and vocalizations. Baboons develop relationships called friendships. These friendships are thought to help the females protect their young and ensure that the male's offspring are able to survive. Females will often mate with various males during their cyclical estrus, which typically lasts 30 to 40 days. This helps to ensure that at least one male will decide to develop a friendship with her. The gestation period of the Chakma baboon is round about 180 days. In the evenings, they will normally climb up to sleep on a cliff or in a crag or climb up a tree to spend the night. In the morning, Chakma baboons will all wake each other up and once they are all ready to go, will go out and begin their day. Baboons are widespread throughout Africa and their conservation status is of least concern. With that being said, they are very common species in suburban areas where humans have chosen to build their houses close to nature. The problem is that humans are increasing in the area and in many places baboons have been cornered off and forced to move into more densely populated areas to survive. Humans, however, view this as a menacing problem, a pest. The Cape Chukma baboons have little to no other option. There is no better place to see this conflict between man and baboon than on the Cape Peninsula. At the Cape of Good Hope, part of the Table Mountain National Park, Baboons live peacefully without humans encroaching on the protected area that they live in. But just a few kilometers to the north is the busy city of Cape Town. If the baboons choose to venture off towards the suburban areas of the Cape Peninsula, they are usually met with hostility by the humans and for this reason the troops are constantly guarded and monitored by men with paintball guns to prevent them from raiding houses and to keep the baboons in the nature reserve. This is an unfortunate but necessary measure that is highly controversial. Between 2009 and 2018, 75 baboons were euthanized under this protocol, 44 of which were aggressive habitual raiders. The company in charge of this, the Human Wildlife Solutions, employs 60 rangers to monitor 11 managed troops, which include 449 baboons as of June 2019. The rangers are with them from sunrise until sunset. Research has shown that these managed troops now stay out of settled areas more than 95% of the time. Thankfully, it seems that these baboons will continue to live in this area and be monitored. This troop of baboons was filmed in the Hottentot Holland Reserve, where I spent weeks hiking and exploring. During the entire filming of this documentary, they were always completely relaxed with my presence and would often get within a few meters of me without a worry. This really demonstrates how they are not the dangerous, malicious animals that people often make them out to be, but rather stuck in a conflict between spending hours foraging for a tiny morsel or having the option to raid a suburban kitchen where they know there's a feast waiting. So I hope that this video taught you something new about the Chakma baboon and maybe changed the way that you feel about this highly misunderstood species. They really aren't the bad creatures that they're so often made out to be. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it and share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to press the bell icon so you can see more videos in the future. And I look forward to seeing you on my next wildlife adventure.